Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alan the Lame Gamer, and welcome to Colot. Now, this is a game that I've been wanting to play for quite a while, but my previous computer could not handle it. So I upgraded. And now we get to play it, and we're gonna play it together. But first, there's a cutscene. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition difficult. to reach the Ototan Mountain. Difficult winter expedition. Why would they do that? Their journey seemed to progress according place. to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. I would have turned around. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It's the name of the game! Kolat. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families Doesn't received like no word of their success, Doesn't sound the first real at all. rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, you all saw that in the webcam. A catch just attacked my chair. Encampment was found. The yep. tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Oh, I know Further what this is. revealed it was cut from inside out. Oh, this is the a true story. The footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. Ooh. This suggests <laughs> a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. See, Two I purposely to a forested area have not been slope. paying attention to this game at all. I haven't watched anybody else play it. Place. Even my and friend has bodies. it, and we have a regular game night where we go over and we play games. With cuts and, and he has this game, and I purposely did not go when we were going to play this game because I wanted to keep it, so much. you know, fresh for me to play. But this this is a true story. Found supposedly, a few hundred meters from the first discovery, one of them had suffered a fractured skull. This Ooh. despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Mm. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force Similar to that of a serious car accident. Serious. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche, or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. And I bet we're just the people to find out. Act one. So there's more, so there's multiple acts, all right. But no, this game, this is pretty, oh my God. See, this is about as far as my old rig was able to take me playing this game was about this far into the game before it just, my computer was like, no, there is no way I can play this game for you. But luckily I've upgraded, I've got a brand new computer and it's got all kinds of things, but this is pretty, oh my god. Oh my goodness, I hope this is coming out for you guys is how good this looks, oh my god. Oh my goodness, okay. But no, this is a true story. Um, so, I mean, so it's like something paranormal supposedly happened, but they're not 100% sure, because obviously the paranormal hasn't been proven or anything like that, but okay, so I can crouch. All right, I can sprint with shift and crouch with control. Alt does nothing. Click does, I, I kind of zoom in, okay. Well, this is beautiful music, oh my goodness. I will buy this soundtrack if you sell it. So, I don't know where we're supposed to go. Um, like I said, I've kept myself in the dark about this game. I did tell my friend uh, that I was going to be playing this game today, and he asked if I knew how to read a map, and I said no. Um, and I, I asked him what did he mean, he liked like a real map, and I was like, uh, no, I don't. Because, you know, I'm not a survivalsman. Can I go this way? I can. Okay, should I? I don't know. And uh, he, he was basically just like, good luck then. So I assume that's a big part of the game. I don't know. We're gonna find out. 
Was I supposed to go this way? Is this just a train station? I can go I can keep going, so I'm not gonna stop. See, game developers, if you want somebody to bug test your game or you're looking for somebody who's just gonna wander around and go places that they shouldn't, that's totally me. Okay, so the music stopped. I don't like that. Well, the, the lady singing stopped. I don't... Okay. The storm is getting worse. That's always a good sign. But this is pretty. Oh my god. And now the string quartet. Oh my god, this is... I just can't get over how pretty this game is. Oh my god. Oh! So pretty. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... My friend also told me that this is a spooky game. Um... So... Oh. I have a choice to make. Left... To what appears to be safety. Because that looks like a safe place to go. It doesn't look like much can hurt me over there. Looks like... Probably... Okay. Or, I can go right, which... Probably will lead to certain doom. And I know what the game wants me to do, is go this way. So... Let's go this way. Coming to me. What? Footprints. Oh. So the music's making me just a little... Ooh, a little chilly. Oh. Oh! Is my vision supposed to look like this? Like, what's going on? Am I, am I just... Why do I... Alright. Oh, goody! A cave! Nothing says I'm happy about the decisions that have led to this point in my life like a cave. <laughs> oh, I fell. I'm dead. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Game is over. I have died. The only thing I saw was a flash. What? An insufferable burning light. What? The pain ripping apart. Am I alive? I felt it tearing out of my soul. I'm alive. Okay. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out. Holy crap, that's Sean Bean. Lord Eddard. I welcome the end with delight. I wonder if he'll survive to the end of this game. It's a spoiler. Sorry. Am I just supposed to walk? I can't see anything. I mean, I know that's snow. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. Was I supposed to just walk this way? Did I break the game? I may have... Oh. Uh, oh, I leave feet prints? Oh my god. Ah, oh, I leave footprints. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just gonna keep running. I see something. Oh, is that a... Oh, yeah. What is this? What is this? Press E. Okay. I pressed it. I am right behind you. No, you're not. There's nobody behind me. Spooky little spookster. Oh, 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 okay. Pompous going nuts. Totally normal. Haha. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. So far, Colot, you have not scared me. It takes a lot to get this guy a little riled. I've played a couple scary games in my day. Act 2. We're beating this game so quickly. We're so fucking good. Uh. Told you that you were a monster and deserved punishment. Oh, Sean Bean. When you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. Oh. The problem is that in their darkness, you have never been alone. 
This isn't what it looked like before. It was big and empty. Why would I leave the shelter of this tent? So... Okay. What? I've got new buttons. So I've got M. Oh. Oh. Alright, so that's where I am. Okay. And there's stuff written on it. 37 north, 62 degrees east. So that's here. So should we turn around? Um. Yeah, let's... Can we not... I don't think we can get up there. Maybe we... Alright, let's just go this way, because the feet prints are going that way. So we'll just go this way. Press F1 for survival info. Running left ship in deep snow is tiring. Adjust the pace of the surrounding condition, blah, 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 blah. Diary. Nothing. Articles. Nothing. Uh, reports. Diary. Logbook. Alright. No, get out of here. Alright. Alright, so... I see something glowing, so let's go get that. Playing horror games for so long has led me to know that if you see something glowing, you should probably go towards it. It's always gonna be a good thing. Nothing bad will ever happen. I hear rustling. Huh. Alright. Whoa! What is this? Oh, hello. You a Ciroc. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone hmm. from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. Ooh. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Would you say something supernatural? The... Oh, I don't like that. What's happening? Oh. Oh. Whoa, where are you going, bruh? Bruh! Bruh, where are you going? I think I should follow that guy? Should I? I don't know. I think we should probably do that on the next episode, don't you think? Alright guys, well thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.